Hi there and welcome back. In this video I'll show you how to set up schedules uh, for cutting lists based upon the model shown here and furthermore how to use filters to organize schedules and views. First of all I'll set up a few schedules. I'll go to views, schedules and I'll select the category called structural framing which was our beams. We'll say OK and I'll add a few of the parameters one called cut length, one called length, and one called mark, maybe. And uh, let's take the type as well. I'll move this one up and uh, say OK. So the first thing you notice is that in my model, all of the cut length and lengths are the same. It might not be in yours, depending on how well you modeled it. But the idea or difference between cut length and length, um, let's see if I can show it clearly here, is that if an engineer wants to do calculation based on this, he might want to have a difference between the span width and the actual width of the element. And as you can see here, by changing this element here, I'll just give it a mark 1, apply it. Then you see that these arrows is actually the um, cut length of it, whereas these ones are defining um, the span width or what's called length in our schedule. And I'll just show you how that takes effect in the schedule we just created. Now you'll show that this one uh, has a longer cut length than the actual length. But when you're modeling, I'll advise you to make sure um, that you have all the time the same cut length and length, first of all, and maybe later on just uh, change it and only show uh, maybe the cut length within your schedule, like this. Okay, let's move on and see if we can get a nice schedule for our columns as well both the patterns and the framework here. So I'll go to schedules again and I will say structural columns here and again I might want to add a few of the available fields here um, like this and say OK and I notice um, that these one are the patterns, the long one and these are the columns in my framework. It could be nice to sort these um, so I only have um, a schedule for the columns in my framework and I have another schedule for the columns in my, uh, um, which are, are, are patterns, you can say. Um, I'll show you how to do that later. But the last schedule we want to create is actually um, for the boards and that will be a wall schedule say OK and that might be interesting seeing the area of it and um, let's take a type as well and um, maybe whoops maybe that's okay for now I forgot to add the type like this and we see that we have five square meters um, of that specific board okay let's move on I'll now set up a few parameters controlling the visibility of my elements and I'll later on also use these parameters in order to reorganize my schedules. So first thing I want to do is I want to duplicate a few of my 3D views. I'll call it 3D frame. I'll make another duplicate and let's take another one as well and let's call this one 3D board and let's call this 3D pattern like this. That doesn't change anything so far they're still showing exactly the same as the written view. But what I want to do is I want to go to manage and say project parameter and in here I'll create 
a visibility parameter called frame and I'll structure that under visibility here and I want it to be a yes no parameter and uh, that should be applied to the structural framing as well as the structural columns and it should be an instance parameter I'll say OK and I'll add a new one called board and that one should be applied to my walls and it should be a visibility and a yes no parameter on instance level I'll say OK to that as well and then I'll add one called pattern and again visibility yes no and in here I'll again select structural framing and um, columns as well I'll say OK and now I have three parameters which if I select maybe a column here should then be under visibility uh, it could either be a part of the frame or a part of the pattern so actually the first thing I want to do is maybe um, let's say select my entire frame like this go in here and say that all of this belongs to the frame and it does not belong to the pattern okay then I'll take the board and go to visibility and say it select it contains or um, it belongs to board parameter and the four patterns here I'll select as well and I'll say that they um, belongs to pattern like this and not the framework so far nothing happened in any of the three views but I've now applied values to my um, project parameters okay now I want to create three filters so I go to views and filters I make one called frame I say that it should apply to the category structural columns and framing and it should be frame equals yes apply that and make a new filter and I call it board apply to the walls and say that board should equal yes apply and I make the last one called pattern and again that should apply to structural framing and structural columns and it should equal yes apply OK now I have three filters created so I say OK and now I can go to the visibility graphics of the individual views I can add all of them maybe and I can now decide that I only want the frame to be visible in this view if I apply this the rest of it disappear I do a similar procedure for the board add my filters and um, only apply this one that should be visible like this and I do the same thing for the patterns VG add filters and like this and now I have the three views showing the three different steps in creating that element and one showing everything and of course the similar te technique can be used for creating different floor plans and elevations using the same filters the parameters can also be showed in order to control our schedules so I now want to duplicate this one and uh, rename it and call it um, frame meaning uh, showing only the structural columns in the frame layer you can say and this one 
I will call pattern like this and then I'll um, edit the fields here and I'll apply um, probably the frame uh, category and I might want to use the filter and saying frame equals yes and say OK and now I see that I only have um, the columns uh, in the frame layer shown. In the same way I could do it here add pattern go to filters and say pattern equals yes and then it's uh, there. And if I want to hide uh, one of the columns I can just do like uh, this and um, then it won't be shown. Okay, I hope this gave you an idea of uh, how we can use project parameters and filters in order to uh, structure the views and the schedules of a um, building element like uh, this. Have fun trying it out yourself and thank you for listening. Goodbye.